Welcome to the Weekly Bull, the broadcast that helps to inform you as a student and a New Yorker in only a few minutes. Now to our newsroom on campus at the King's College. A Bronx woman married 10 different times since 1999 now faces up to four years in prison for fraud. 39-year-old Liana Barrientos was arraigned Friday at a state Supreme Court in the Bronx. According to prosecutors, Barriento wrote on her 10th marriage license that she had never been married before. She pleaded not guilty. While your initial reaction might be to sentence her to mandatory enrollment in Dr. Talcott's human sexuality course, this bizarre case carries deeper implications regarding national security. The New York Times reported Friday that Ms. Barrientos admitted to marrying at least one of the men in exchange for money. Most of the men applied for citizenship immediately after marrying Barrientos, and according to the Times, those who were denied citizenship filed for divorce and reapplied with new wives. Assistant District Attorney Jessica Lupo expressed the concern that the husbands hail from red flag countries like Egypt, Turkey, Georgia, and Pakistan. Prosecutors revealed that one husband was deported for conspiring in terrorist schemes against the United States, and another was deported in 2006 for his threatening statements. Barrientos is due back in court on May 18th. And though it remains to be seen what the future case will reveal, one thing is clear, this woman displays consistent irreverence for the law. The Times reported that just two hours after leaving court, Ms. Barrientos was arrested for entering the 149th Street subway station without paying. Love Shakespeare and free shows? The Public Theater's Mobile Shakespeare Unit is putting on a free performance of Macbeth at Highbridge Recreation Center in Highbridge Park, Saturday, April 25th from 3 to 4.30 p.m. Space is limited, so visit centralrec at parks.nyc.gov to RSVP as soon as possible or visit nycgovparks.org for more information. And now, for the top five OATKC posts of the week. If I could date a beard that wasn't attached to a man, I might. All the beauty of a beard without the drama of a man. Debate is football for kings. A prospective student after the Churchill vs. Reagan debate. I don't think I'm going to get into this school. A member of SBA. Ten Boom travels in packs more than anyone I've ever seen. Another SBA. Are you kidding me? That's all we ever do. A student practicing for random theme debate. Registering for classes is like taking the Staten Island Ferry. The gates open, a mad rush of people clog the system, and there's just disappointment waiting for you on the other side. Since she was a freshman, Abigail Jennings had dreams to enhance the arts here at the King's College. This year, as a sophomore, she has taken a step towards that dream and created the Arts and Aesthetics Society, along with Mark Berger, who is the editor of the Arts and Ideas Review. She says the society aims to bridge the gap between on-campus work and off-campus art. They plan to do this by hosting saloons open to the public. The idea of saloons comes from 17th and 18th century, where artistically minded people would meet to exchange ideas. Jennings and Berger believe this club will be successful due to the King's convenient location in one of the major art capitals of the world. This society will not only benefit the MCA majors here at King's, but provide a bigger art community for all students at King's, not just MCA majors. A 26,000 square foot food hall is under development in the residential and commercial DeKalb Market Hall, according to the Wall Street Journal. While department stores like the Century 21 and an Alamo Draft House Cinema will be serving as anchor tenants, the main draw of the shopping complex will be its unique vendor lineup. The $350 million retail project aims to, quote, engage the consumer in a much more comprehensive way, says project executive Paul Travis. Eclectic menus pair with a uniquely designed space, which will disregard the uniform shopping mall look. In campus news, on Monday, April 18th at noon in the City Room, King's is hosting its first Founders Day address with speaker Friedhelm Radant. Later that evening at 5 p.m., two city practitioners will ho be hosting an information session on apartment hunting and managing one's student loans. Don't forget to follow the Empire State Tribune on Twitter and Facebook. Tweet at the EST with the hashtag WeeklyBull with comments or questions. Signing off, I'm Michael Sheets. Thanks for bearing the bull.